Antioxidants are a rapidly growing trend in natural health communities today. A quick interweb search will show you many products with labels claiming they contain antioxidants. Breath mints? Really? Antioxidants aren't really that simple, but don't worry. I'm here to break it all the way down on this episode of H2 Minutes. Antioxidants, they have the ability to exert anti-inflammatory, anti-aging, and anti-degeneration effects in the human body. And antioxidants' main job is to neutralize free radicals. What's a free radical? Glad you asked. A free radical is a reactive atom or group of atoms that can damage cells, protein, and DNA by altering their chemical structure. Some contain oxygen atoms and are called oxidants. Get it? anti Oxidants? Free radicals or oxidants have unpaired electrons, causing them to be very reactive and steal electrons from the closest atom or molecule. This can cause a chain reaction of events in the cell, causing the cell not to function properly. This process is called oxidation. Oxidation occurs throughout the universe and in our bodies. For example, everyone knows what happens to a cut apple that's left on the counter. Gross. This is the effect of oxidation. It is an inescapable reaction and part of aging. In fact, our bodies actually produce ROS, or reactive oxygen species, as a result of cellular respiration, which is the way our bodies produce energy. Approximately 2-4% to 4 of oxygen consumed by the cell's mitochondria is converted into ROS. So our bodies create free radicals every day when we breathe. Yikes! When we have an abundance of free radicals in our body, it can lead to what's called oxidative stress. What is oxidative stress? Good question. Oxidative stress is a physiological stress on the body caused by the cumulative damage done by free radicals inadequately neutralized by antioxidants. Whew, that was a mouthful. To make it simple, many things in life can cause an accumulation of damaged cells in the body. These things include pollution, household chemicals, family or relationship stress, being busy or rushing, insomnia or lack of sleep, and of course, stress. <laughs> then throw in bad habits like smoking, heavy alcohol consumption, over-exercising, pharmaceutical drugs, dehydration, processed food, and overeating. These can lead to oxidative stress, which has been known to lead to chronic inflammation. That can lead to health problems such as diabetes, COPD, asthma, arthritis and gout, kidney disease, heart disease, all types of cancer, neurological disorders such as Parkinson's and Alzheimer's, just to name a few. So I guess antioxidants equal good, free radicals equal bad. Not necessarily. While free radicals can be damaging to the human body, there are some that are necessary for the human body to function. Many free radicals can influence gene expression, the immune system, and cellular signaling. These include hydrogen peroxide, nitric oxide, and superoxide anion. Oxygen gas can easily be converted into a free radical, but it is extremely important so we can, well, breathe. While our bodies need antioxidants to counteract the effects of oxidative stress, excessive intake of antioxidants can eliminate too many free radicals, causing what is called reductive stress. In fact, antioxidant supplements may be harmful and provide unwanted consequences to our health. Conventional antioxidants may even negate the benefit of exercise. And powerful antioxidants can negate chemotherapy during cancer treatments. The good news is our bodies produce our own antioxidants to offset oxidative stress. These include glutathione, catalase, and superoxide dismutase. The most important thing to remember about all of this is that the human body is more interested in balance than in extremes. Think of your body as a scale with reductants and antioxidants on one side and oxidants and free radicals on the other. You do not want an abundance of one over the other, but you want them to stay in balance and complement each other. When the scale tips to one side for too long, that is when health issues can arise. The best way to do this is to maintain a healthy lifestyle with good food, moderate exercise, little bit of stress, and sunshine. There is one unique antioxidant, however, I would recommend, but you have to wait for the next episode. Stay tuned for that one. That's your dose of H2 in two minutes.